Hi there, Interest Ghost here, and today we're doing something which we used to do a lot back in the day, and that is a community questions video. And this is set by my friend 1T, respect, and uh, here we go. Inter Ghost is at the cabin. He's picking out games to show to you. He really likes to play on his view. And if you think you've got a high score, well, that's what Retro Records is for. His ex con team aren't living anymore. Him all the dudes are singing out of tune. It's a friendly YouTube host. So yeah, the first question he has asked, there's five of them, so if you want to answer the questions below, you can do, or you can go to his original video, which I'll link below also, and reply on there, that'd be cool. Or even better, do a video response like this, and then go to his video, maybe post the link in his video so he can see where all the different responses are. So question one, what TV show would you like to see a modern game of? So I'm guessing he's talking about uh, old TV shows that we used to watch when we were younger. If they were to revamp them and make a modern game out of it, what would we like to see? Now this is quite hard for me, there's loads and loads of programs which I'd love to see uh, remakes of. But I think uh, the one which i have still waiting for them to do, and I'm surprised they haven't, is a Simpsons open world game. Now I know they did one, was it Hit and Run? Um, where you could drive around a bit like a Grand Theft Auto style game with Simpson characters and you could drive around the town doing missions. Something like that but I'd like more of a like you know the new Zelda game where you can just wander around the whole of Springfield. It'd be absolutely amazing. You'd go into all the buildings, um, you know full size nuclear power plant and uh, the school and just have loads of different missions set up. A bit like a um, what they're called, Out Scrolls game, but with a Simpsons look and feel and obviously the humour of the Simpsons. I think that'd be absolutely amazing if they could do that and, you know, maybe then go on to a future armor game as well. But that, if they could make a really good Simpsons game, I think that would be absolutely amazing. I and mean, hopefully they will do it one day because it is still going strong. Question two. If you could only watch one cartoon from your childhood, what would it have had been? So if I could only watch one cartoon when I was younger, it would probably have to be He-Man. Because when I was sort of, what, I can't remember how old I was, sort of eight, eight, nine, ten, something like that. I was just obsessed with the He-Man cartoon. I used to have hundreds of figures, uh, had Castle Grey Skull. I, I just used to love it. Um, it's probably not the best cartoon of all time. But if I could only, if I went back in time and I could only watch one cartoon growing up, it'd probably have to be that. Closely followed by Dungeons and Dragons. But He-Man. Question three. Game character you most relate to or are like? Now I had a long think about this, and I don't think there is one which I'm really that much like. Um, there's loads which I would love to be like. Um, maybe Nathan Drake from uh, Uncharted, um, but I'm not. So I was thinking the only one I could sort of uh, relate to a little bit is probably Dizzy, uh, Prince of the Yoke Folk from the old ZX Spectrum computer game. Uh, and I've put a few things down here. He likes meeting people. He likes collecting up junk and using it uh, to um, make his life better. Uh, He's, he's a friendly person, he talks to everybody, and he's also very family orientated, so he's got a big family and he's always there to try and help them out and uh, save the day. So probably dizzy, although still got my hair. Question four. What game series do you collect for? Again, I don't really collect game merchandise. Uh, but if I had push come to shove, it'd probably be Mario. It's probably the only uh, computer game I actually buy bits and pieces for, which aren't actually uh, game related. I do buy things which attach to games, like uh, Skylanders or Amiibos or things like that. 
but actually collecting um, on the side, which uh, doesn't actually get involved with the game. It'd probably be Mario, because I've got a few Mario plushies. Um, I've got all the Bowser children. Uh, I've got a few sort of little mini figures. I've got the hat. Uh, yeah, so it'd have to be probably Mario. And I do have a few sort of Zaldery books and that sort of thing. But apart from that, yeah, I don't really collect much. And finally, question five. What is your go-to game? Now, my go-to game now and my go-to game sort of retro-wise are slightly different. So nowadays, if I've got um, five, ten minutes and I think, right, I need to I'm gonna play a little bit of a game on the computer before I go out or I don't really know what to do today, so I'll just stick this on. It's probably Elder Scrolls Legends, which is quite a newish game. Uh, it's a uh, collectible card game. It might be on Steam, but it's Bethesda anyway, who make all the Elder Scrolls games. And you collect out different cards and you battle real people online uh, using your cards as monsters or spells to try and knock their health down as much as you can and try and kill them before they kill you. And that's just a game I always go to. But if I do play it, I end up playing it for longer than I expect I would be. I just keep saying, one more game, one more game. But apart from that, if it's an old school game, if I think oh, I'll go and play a bit of retro, I will normally go back to the ZX Spectrum and play Chaos Battle of the Wizards. This is a game which is probably my favourite Spectrum game of all time. And it's a bit like chess, a bit like battle chess. You start off you can play the computer or you can play up to uh, eight players I think it is real life players in the same room as you and you have a wizard on the screen and you have a list of spells you have to cast spells which could be creatures you can put out in front of you and can control or it could be things like fireballs which do direct damage or uh, trees and you cast all these different spells and you take it in turns as the different wizards to cast one spell move all your creatures, cast another spell, move all your creatures and the idea is to be the last man standing, uh, you attack each other and yeah, the last one there is the winner and that's uh, Chaos on the ZX Spectrum and I've been playing that since I was 10 years old so, you know, almost 30 years now great game so thanks to uh, Wanty for setting up the questions uh, if you liked it please put a thumb up like I said, put your um, answers below or make a video response to Metropolis and I'll hopefully see you in another video. Cheers.